Now, a special assignment on a dream of fame and fortune that's coming true. Literally overnight, the young man you're about to meet has gone from a desperate film student to a major studio player, all thanks to one good idea. Drew Griffin has this special assignment. Take one, take ten, marker. Ask anyone in Hollywood and you'll soon find out Patrick Roddy has hit it big. Who's Patrick Roddy? This story's gonna grab people. It's about this guy. I'm Jennifer Tilly, but who's Patrick Roddy? <laughs> okay, well, maybe not yet. In fact, Hollywood's hottest new star is still taking the bus. To film school. Yes, Patrick Roddy is a dreamer, but this dream is about to come true. Eight months ago, he was nowhere. Out of a job in Arizona, no money. He sold his car to get out here and enrolled at UCLA's graduate film school. Was your family thinking you were going to be a perennial loser? Yes. This is a tough story, a tragedy. Enter producer Barry Evans, who is also Professor Barry Evans. She was Roddy's instructor. The class she teaches tells students how to get their ideas made into movies. She also teaches students Hollywood is not all dreams come true. You're not going to sell your script tomorrow. Right, you're going to have to pay your dues. This kid sold his script tomorrow. Pretty much. This is hot. I got a writer in here who's got a pitch I think you ought to hear. I think it's something we should go for. It's a great idea. Yeah, who's the writer? Hi. Uh, call it a Hollywood miracle, call it a fluke, but just call him a player. Patrick Roddy took a bus to a final exam last December, stood in front of his class, and changed his life. This is where you were? This is it right there. The exam was a movie pitch made to real movie people who would critique you. It's a love story. Uh-huh. It's a triangle, really. Oh, it's even better. Yeah, it's exactly right. It's out of Africa meets Pretty Woman. The idea is to show students their idealistic film school movie ideas are really boring. Well, I started thinking about what you were saying, about how your movies need to make a profit. Barry Evans' advice to her students was not to come in pitching a story like an Art Nouveau piece, you know, about a short guy from New York contemplating the meaning of life. No, she wanted something that was high concept, something that would sell in Hollywood, something with a lot of action, something that people would go see, something in a word that Barry Evans calls cool. The cool test, my famous cool test, uh, which is a great litmus test. Do you want to go see it? Are you passionate about it? This is a great idea. Patrick Roddy thought he got an A for the class. What he got the next morning was an unexpected phone call. She said, you know, um, you know your pitch that you gave in the class? You know, Danny Greenberg loves it. You know, we love it. And we have somebody at Warner Brothers interested in it. And uh, we want to take it to him. Bada boom. Yeah. Brilliance. Absolute brilliance. I think we can work together. In just four hours, Patrick Roddy's new agent, Danny Greenberg, had sold the idea to Warner Brothers for nearly half a million dollars and has now signed on big time producer Deborah Hill to make his movie. You no, know, I've been in this business for 20 years and I've never bought a concept from a student. This is really a rarity in Hollywood. The only question now, will Patrick Roddy get a typical happy Hollywood ending? There's a lot of people a lot nicer to me, too. Are they? We just have to keep mining his imagination because he clearly is a talented guy. So I want his next, his next concept. If you can guarantee me that ending, you got a deal. I guarantee it, Griffin. What do you call this thing, anyway? The player. The player. I like that. And so our story ends happily with a new star being born here in Hollywood. So what's the pitch, right? The pitch. The pitch. Yeah! Here it is. The Graduate, part two. The ghoul goes west. No, it's nothing like that. What would you do if you knew who the next Jeffrey Dahmer would be? Would you kill them? He did ask a question at the beginning, a what if. Sort of um, um, a serial killer in the future buries his victims in the past. The police officer believes he knows 
who, as a child, who's a serial killer is going to grow up, is going to grow up to be a serial killer. I wasn't there that evening, so there may have been a lot more to that. Ah, uh, I get it. Let's just say the pitch is in development. In Hollywood, Drew Griffin, CBS 2 News. <laughs> well, remember that name. <laughs> There's a little bit of irony to the working title of Patrick Roddy's project. It's called Meet John Doe. No word yet on when it'll come to a theater near you, but we'll let you know. And I'm buying a Patrick ticket. Patrick Roddy. No 